Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the easiest way to get a typewriter effect inside of Premiere Pro, and it's literally only gonna take five seconds because the newest version of Premiere Pro 25.5 has an updated effect called typewriter. So once you select your type tool, type in your text, now you can just go to your effects panel and search for the typewriter effect. And now you can add this transition onto the start of your text and you've got an awesome typewriter animation immediately. But you might notice, wait, the default animation isn't quite what I'm wanting. But if you click on the transition and you go up to effect controls, you actually have an insane amount of control over how to use it. So I'll quickly go over my personal favorite settings to get the effect that I like, including how to add things like a delay to the beginning and end of your animation so it looks more believable. So first of all, you might see that there's a little surprise me button here. All of the film impact effects come with this feature that randomizes as your settings so you can quickly get inspiration if you don't quite know where to start. But for me, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to get the traditional one. So we'll quickly reset everything. Now first, if you wanted this blinking cursor icon to appear, you've actually got a setting for that. The technical term for this is called a carrot. Under your carrot controls section here, you can hit this checkbox to make it visible. And the way that you shape it is by using the width and height parameters here. I find that a width of 15 and a height of 124 gets me exactly what I need. Here you can change the color too in case you need white on black or black on white. And another helpful tool is that if you wanted to match it exactly to the color of your text, you can use the eyedropper tool here to get the perfect match. But now if you wanted to add some time to the beginning or end of your animation, like to have it wait a few seconds before starting to type, the initial delay and final delay are what you're looking for. This slider adds a percentage between zero to 90% and it's basically just more time before it starts at the beginning or more time to wait at the end after it finishes. It works within the transition animation time here, so if you find that you don't have time to fit everything in, you can just stretch out this animation here on your timeline. The only confusing thing about initial and final delay is that it seems to be really similar to the start line and end line delay sliders here. And they seem to not cancel each other out, but kind of work together. It's confusing, but essentially they do pretty much the same thing. Finally, you can also add a blinking effect to your carrot and add a bit of a fade to make it look more organic. If you wanted to pause and take a screenshot, these are all of my personal favorite settings for everything. Once you have the look that you want, you can save it as a preset by right clicking and selecting save preset. So you can drag and drop the exact animation for all future use cases. And if you found this video helpful, check out this one for even more Premiere Pro tips.